Hello everybody, it's Omar here. I just wanted to express my happiness for the very first trip in the continent of Africa, in Rwanda, Kigali, where I had the chance to visit the Mine Leaves program. Uh, I was there for about 9 days and basically I can't wait to be back as soon as possible. Hi, my name is Omar Hamiti. I am from North Macedonia. Uh, yesterday I just landed in Rwanda and today we visited uh, the museum of uh, Kigali. And basically we all, till now, we have all known as a story, but when you actually uh, face it in the actual place where it all uh, happened, basically it just gives you a different feeling where you can feel the, the, the uh, the heartbreaking and you basically feel so sad and, and everything about that. For example, when we went to the ch children's room and you see the causes of death, for example, and the favorite spor sports and everything and they didn't, didn't get to actually enjoy all of these because they were kids, two, three years, killed, shot, uh, burnt alive, just, I mean, some stuff are not explained into words and just make you cry even though you actually know what it is but you can't actually express it so just keep it inside and it gives you a feeling of crying from inside Hi, my name is Omar. Uh, this is day two of Mind Leaps in Rwanda. Actually, today uh, we, uh, we as a staff, we went on home visits. It was my first time actually going on a home visit. We visited the home of Diana and her family, where basically we could see uh, their happiness and their joy when they saw us uh, from the fir very first moment uh, uh, in front of the house. And I believe that those people that we really met are gonna be stuck on my head for my entire life. Uh, another moment that was really interesting was where we basically passed through the main road and we could see a parent opened a business with the help of Mind Leaps and basically she was running her by herself. Uh, so it was really interesting to hear all that story. My name is Omar. Uh, today is my third day at Mind Leaps Rwanda. We went on tailoring shop where it is uh, it is actually funded by Mind Leaps, and we could see the the work of the of the parents who are actually doing an amazing job with their handmade bags and handmade uh, dresses and everything. It was a really nice experience, and I'm sure uh, I'm sure that I'm gonna buy something from there. Uh, and then we also had today. I had the first class with the with the kids uh, from Mind Leaps. I had the class with uh, Passy, Samuel, and Didier. I really had an amazing time where we got to know more about writing emails, and they got to know more about uh, North Macedonia, and me got to know more about Rwanda. We did the same way. Yeah. Is that North Macedonia or Albania? In, the, in, in Macedonia. In Macedonia is Dobar Dan. Dobar? 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 Dan. Also, what is really important to mention uh, today is that we had our first class with the new cohort. Uh, we had an amazing time where we could see the new kids actually having and being so, so happy about the first class. 
It was really tiring, but we did it. That's the best part. Hello everyone, uh, it's Omar here. Today is my fourth day in Rwanda. But today we are outside of Kigali uh, and we are here at the Mahama refugee camp. Something that is really interesting about the camp is that this is actually the biggest camp in Rwanda where it has about 50 to 60,000 uh, people in here. Uh, we got to see here about 200 kids who actually greeted us with even singing to us and basically we met the team of my leads here and also another fact is that there are also kids who were born here and are actually my age which means that they have spent the whole life in, in a camp uh, it was one moment where we actually saw the program director Vedaste and the fact that the Vedaste is himself a refugee uh, it was really emotional to see where we where he actually was explaining to them how he could how he turned actually his life from a refugee from a refugee camp to uh, leading a program for a, for the whole country and it was really inspiring and I guess and I'm really uh, positive that those kids uh, took it as a motivation in their life and I believe that that will serve them as a, as an extra push for them to actually transition their life from a refugee to uh, somebody very successful. Hi, it's Omar here from uh, North Macedonia. Today is my fifth day in uh, Rwanda. Uh, another thing that we did is that we've uh, actually visited two uh, family businesses uh, that my lips is sponsoring that are moms of those kids who actually were who actually dancing in my lips. Uh, we saw a place where actually one mom was preparing uh, fishes where I actually also bought something and I actually turned a fish upside down. <laughs> uh, and then from there we visited another uh, another mom of the kid from here which uh, was actually involved in the MTN which was a mobile service and where I had actually the experience to do myself the payment of uh, internet as well as uh, credit for, for the phone. Uh, it was really amazing, it was a really different experience and I'm looking forward to uh, visit even more uh, family businesses. So today I had also the chance for the first time to go in town by myself where I actually took a moto and negotiated by myself and through my whole, uh, let's say, visit uh, in town, it was really interesting because everybody was trying actually to help me. And yeah, it was a really, really experience uh, to actually finish the day with those uh, kind people that were trying to help me. Uh, it's Omar here uh, from Rwanda. It's my sixth day in uh, here at the MindLeap Center. Today we started the day with a visit from the US Embassy where they actually visited us and uh, we had a quick show where actually our kids performed uh, the choreography before the Obomona Festival. Uh, then we actually, I had the chance to visit my students, uh, my three students, Bessie, Samuel and Divion. So today we started the home visit with uh, Samuel, who is one of the silent kids uh, of my class. But actually we could see another Samuel when we did the home visit, where he was actually explaining everything. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after that, we also visited uh, Didier's home, uh, who was in the in the same neighborhood as Samuel. 
talk he was explaining about the fruits of Rwanda and he was explaining about the characteristics of Rwanda that stand out. I'm already looking forward for our next class and I'm really excited for the next challenge. Hi, uh, it's Omar here. It's my seventh day in uh, Rwanda. Uh, today I had the chance to visit one of the boarding schools uh, which MindLeap sponsors 35 kids currently. Uh, today also was the last day of the kids at the school where basically they concluded their last day with a performance, with a ceremony where we also saw uh, really nice uh, uh, performance by the MindLeaps kids who concluded their, their success at the school. Today also a very uh, another another event that was really important was the Ubuntu Art Festival, which is a day where uh, Rwandans actually uh, celebrate um, the Humanity Day, which also ends the uh, hundred day of the genocide, and where all people all around all around the world gather to actually give a performance and celebrate uh, the festival. Uh, the piece was introduced by the US Embassy and it was directed by the American ballet uh, uh, dancer Chase Johnsey and it was presented by the Mind Leaves Dance uh, Kids which basically gave an extraordinary uh, piece to us where we also got a standing ovation by the audience. These kids are amazing, amazing, amazing! The Ubumuna festival uh, this year happens for three days, so I'm already looking forward for, for tomorrow night. Uh, hello, uh, it's Omar here. It's my eighth day in uh, Rwanda. Today I had the chance to go at the Morambi Hill at the Genocide Museum. On our way there, which was a very long trip, we had actually a car breakdown where we was uh, at, at the street for like one hour until the mechanic came. Uh, so we are, we are today here at the Morambi Genocide Memorial. We have uh, 50,000 uh, people who was actually uh, murdered, out of which only 34 survived, which is uh, a really sad fact about this memorial. And we could actually see the massive graves all around this huge place. And well, I just, I just want the. Uh, the foreigners to know one thing about Rwanda that the people are here extraordinarily amazing they are they are actually the most happy people in the world so the most important thing is to understand that you can be happy without having anything and Rwandans are the best example that they can demonstrate all of this Hello everybody, uh, it's Omar here, it's my ninth day in Rwanda. Uh, today is also my final day in Rwanda and it's really emotional to be honest because I didn't expect for this time to pass so fast. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, I'm here as Omar Ahamiti, I'm going to present about Um Okay, first of all... I tried for a very long time to train. This is easy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I had the chance to say goodbye to the Mindleaf kids uh, and to the Mindleaf stuff. And it was really emotional. Bye -bye. There is a fun story actually going on where I actually firstly discovered Mexican food in Rwanda. Like, you cannot make that connection pretty well. 
Well, uh, this was actually one of the best experiences of my life, even though I'm, I'm still young. And I believe not any other country uh, could actually surpass this experience. Uh, what I did learn is that uh, that you can't actually learn from anywhere in the world is the fact that you don't need anything materialistic in order to be happy. Uh, so I really can't believe that I'm actually going. I am really gonna miss this place and I'm sure that I'm gonna be back uh, again in Rwanda.